Hello there everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to some more Crusader Kings 2, some of our Game of Thrones campaign with the Wadlings. King Sigurd, good old King Sigurd. He's 41, probably still be alive for a little while longer, we'll see. So you got some half-brothers, one that has just turned 18, that's kind of funny. Daddy was getting in on some, uh, some lady action well into his later years, unlike uh, King Sigurd. I guess he's got a three-year-old son. That's, you know, it's young enough. Wifey was pregnant at some point, wasn't she? I thought she was pregnant fairly recently. Anyways, uh, yeah, we're back and we have uh, some issues to deal with here. Some civil, re civil revolts and things like that. Eh, it's not really a big deal. I think we're fine. I'm pretty sure we have the numbers to take care of this. They will end up taking some of our stuff, but... Oh yeah, there's also this thing down here. We have to send some boats down to go take care of that. Possibly. And there's also the whole dragon dragon thing. Oh hey! <laughs> They're not getting attritioned anymore. Why? They should still be getting point four, no? Maybe not? I don't know. Anyways, um yeah, so since I started with the time that I started, I started in 8,000 or whatever year it, it was, 8,001, where um, some of the things that should have happened in the world with the dragons, like the burning of Hall or the destruction of Summerhall, for example, or even the construction of King's Landing itself, those things haven't happened yet. So I don't know if that will affect the chances of that event popping up that's supposed to happen in these places. So, to be safest, I'm gonna actually go hang out in Dragonstone, because that is clearly, or was clearly, a dragon place. You got Dragonstone, Dragonmont, so if anything, this will be a place where we will get those events. I don't know if we will, hopefully we, hopefully we do. Alright, uh, what do we got here? We got some weak claims, yeah, don't care about that, don't care about the maester, a couple of those. And a de jure claim. Ah, it's all good. Cancel all the things. So, if you're taking care of that, you are. All these armies are joining up. Good. Hmm. I think I'm gonna send these guys down to deal with that rebellion. So we need boats. I have boats. Oh, I do have eleven boats raised. Yes, that's right. Well, we have some more. But most of them are on the wrong side. Yep. All of these guys are on the wrong side of the damn continent. Ugh, that's gonna be way too much effort. Forget it. Just forget it. These guys will take that war goal and we'll make our way down eventually, but... As it is right now, it's just way too much work. So, yeah, let's just unpause. Let's get going. We had in command happen to us. Yes. Guard stations have been built in Then Good. Which means we can finally get the training grounds up. And I should I should still be saving money. Because that is very necessary. Especially once we get that dragon egg. Or if we get that dragon egg. Apparently you have to pay 800 ducats for it. Magnar Eddard. Well, you are a Northman. <clears throat> sure, man, you wanna... Oh, no, never mind. I was kind of hoping you would rebel, but you did not. Do you have money? Yes, you do. So, there you go. Now you wanna go rebel? That's That'd be great. I know you're on an island and it'd be a little annoying, but... Oh, well. Okay, so we'll hang out in Dragonstone as long as we can. What just happened? Les Hearth has usurped the title from the person. Oh, it was a faction. Okay. Well, that's not... That's not cool. I put a thud in charge on purpose. And now we got another person to deal with. God damn it. 
Hmm. See, so the whole thing is with me just provoking the dukes, it means that I get dukes under me directly, which is nice. But not revoking any of, any of the other people underneath them, that makes them... Basically, it's just the duke that's then, and then everybody else will be stronger than them and can do this whole faction BS. So I might have to do all these individual little counts as well. Man, that's just going to be annoying as hell. I don't know, maybe I'll just stick with the Dukes. We'll see. Uh, this army is together. You do stuff, some people is on the way. Please, no attrition. Good. And we lost a... Oh, we lost the siege down here. Yeah, that's fine. We'll probably lose a bunch of these sieges anyways. It's really this one that's going to hurt the most. Because as soon as they take that, their war score... Their taking war score is going to start going up. Just kind of a pain in the ass. Oh, hey, another daughter. Well, I guess we do have a bunch of those that we technically don't know about. Or that we do know about, but we don't... We They're not ours. They're not actually ours. They're... Actually, I think... Both of these are mine. Several of my brother's children are actually my children. Which, you know... It's fine. Okay, so... Yeah, we'll spy on somebody else, because I don't even know if you can get... I'm pretty sure you can't get that event um, with the spying where they're preaching their false religion because he's not under me right now, so he's not technically got a false religion. Also, this rebellion's gonna win soon, which means this ticking war score is going to start ticking. It's this one, right? Yeah, because I control Winterfell. As soon as he controls it... I will lose that score. So we'll have to go deal with that first, and maybe we'll just make a beeline with one army straight down here. Lord Donald Flint. Okay. Anyway, um, let's work on... Oh, I'm debating. Should I start doing these damn counts, too? Ugh. Just, it's just going to be more hassle later on if I don't. So, okay, fine. Let's start with the Dame Counts. Master Roderick, start spying on you. Lisa, fun. Sure, money. Sounds good. And ra Ragwheel? Ragwheel? Ragwheel. Sure, Ragwheel. Anybody want an opinion boost? Nobody that's Then All the Thens are pretty good. Here, you'll have one. And some other guy. Everybody's joining in again. I'm not exactly sure what they're doing. There they go, now they're joining. And there goes the Siege of Winterfell. So there's a, there's a lot of troops around here. Yeah, there sure are. Well, anyway, let's go after Winterfell first. Eh, oh, come on. Not the time for that. God damn it, wildlings. Again, why? Why do they revolt? What? It must have been the different culture group. The 0.5% chance. Because there's, there's nothing else. I, I don't understand why else they would do it. They, everybody loves me. God, and I just sent everybody down, too. F freaking hell. And that's my own fort, so I have to go back and take it. Oh, Alright. I'll put the organizer in charge, and... You guys go and deal with this damn thing. Should we just... Yeah, we'll just put it in half. We'll send half that way. We'll send you up, and we'll send the other one down here to take care of this. I don't want to leave a 7k stack, because there's stacks that are bigger than that. And I'm afraid they will move on me soon, because it looks like they're combining here. Marissa is currently under, under my control, and her close relative is currently opposing us. Mar Marissa the blank. Okay. How does she have family that cares? Anyway. It's not her fault. Imprison her, bring me her head. Have her questioned. 
Well, I don't really want to lose prestige, so we'll just imprison her. See if anybody wants to ransom her, but... Looks like we took that back, so that's good. Let's take this. Yep. <clears throat> He's preaching his false religion. Good. So that should give me a reason to imprison him. Yet another person to add to the list. Oh, he's in jail, though. God damn it, guy. You're not actually supposed to get caught. I guess that's good for the money, though. Oh, and they're back. What the hell? There's a waddling revolt. It, God damn it. Stupid waddling, stop. Can I tell you to stop? No, I can't tell you to stop. All right, whatever, let's just keep going. Crap, huge attrition, should have realized. Ah, oh, man, the, the damn land down here is so, so harsh. I gotta be careful with this. Yep, losing a bunch more sieges, fair enough. May 10th, okay, we're gonna catch at least this revolt. So that's good, there's that other siege that I was worried about. That's a very important siege. Because that is a rebellion. Is this one? Yeah. A uh, young soldier with more vices than you can afford has managed to gain the trust of the guy. Well, I don't really want to kill him. I want to revoke him. No, murder's going too far. We merely want to strip him of all his titles and take everything that him and his family have earned. But not, not kill him. That'd be too much. Ragwheel is not... I don't care. With a name like that, nobody cares about you, Ragwheel. I mean, yes, you do have... You're, you're a strong young lady, but that's about all anybody cares about. And my... Wow. Holy crap. My 45-year-old wife is pregnant. I'm pretty sure that's as late as you can get pregnant, is, is at 45. Okay, well, we have won that. That's good. Let's go smush that little force. And Magnar Len. Magnar Len, you. Oh man, this is not the time for you to be doing this. I would love to kick you out and turn you thin, but no, I can't afford to have you turn against me. In fact, we'll probably send some money his way. At least this revolt is basically done. We could stay here and take this, but no, I think I'm just gonna chase him. There's the 10k, but the 10k is moving that away. So that's fine. I want to take care of this little army here. These next few episodes are just going to be lots of cleaning up, really. Okay, so here. Oh, you suck. What are, how are you doing? You are, you're up here, right? Yeah, you're already dealing with that. But you're not actually doing anything. Well, poop. Also, who is in ch uh, no, 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 stay on him. Who's in charge of this? I feel like I should get some better leaders on here. Like you. You're, yeah, leading the center guy. Sounds good. And sure, we'll get our uncle? Uncle. We'll get our uncle in charge there. Even though he doesn't actually have any martial school. Hey, I was just saying how you weren't doing any anything. Good job. My beloved Aunt Jarrell. Sure, we'll find her somebody nice. I don't know who's going to marry you. You're a terrible person. My god. I mean, you're very uh, socially competent, but other than that... Okay. Um, oh, you've never been married. That's kind of amusing. Here, marry this guy. The commander of Oak and Shield. I think that's one of my forts. I think that's this one. Nope. That's the Castle of Hardhome. Is it this one? Nope. Whatever. It doesn't matter which one it is. It's A1. Unmarried heir. So everybody's, uh, yeah, everybody's still cool with him. That's good. Do I want to marry him off now? Let's see if he can find anybody. You have somebody that's strong, that's good. 
Any geniuses? No, never any geniuses. Strong one might, might, might not be too bad, though. I just gotta claim on bear view. Sure. He's gonna take a massive prestige hit, though. No, we're gonna wait. Because if I give him the prestige hit, he's, um... He's just gonna lose basically his votes for the elective one. Actually, no, I don't think he would lose his votes. He would lose position here in the open one because this is based on prestige. Or partially based on prestige. Princess Jorella and Commander Arson. Sounds good. Okay, so this is done. We can we can enforce just to get an extra ten prestige, <clears throat> or just um, <clears throat> excuse me. Sorry about that. There's probably a little cut there. Hopefully, if I remember. Otherwise, there's just going to be an awkward little pause. I'm still a little sick, so I have to I had to clear my throat there. Uh, anyways, yeah, so we're just going to white piece these guys because I don't want to deal with them anymore. And we will start working on, on all these other peoples. And these guys split up, which is nice. It's going to work out perfectly. Cool. So we can now start sending this army down as well. I know we'll have to definitely worry about attrition down here. Combining these two armies. We'll probably just combine the two and then split them again. This 8k is coming in, but I don't... July 16th. I don't think that they'll be able to do anything. I don't know if they'll... No, I don't think they'll be able to get here in time to... To stop that fight. Okay, so that's that damn thing done. And you're going... Oh, we don't need you. You can just, just go to jail. Now you, sir, I would like to bring you back down with... Why are you not sieging? I mean, I'm happy that you're not, but you were totally sieging a second ago. Anyways, we'll, uh, we'll grab some boats. Why do you not have boats for me? I feel like you of all people should have boats for me. Okay, well, we'll grab some boats. We don't even need that many. Take these boats before they take that thing. 43, not quite enough. No, no boats from these peeps. What the hell, guys? Okay, well, in that case, we'll just do it half and half. Go there, you need to go there. I'm sure some of the boats are raised somewhere else. Good, so the that thing is done. Um, how are we doing down here? Are we still alive? We are not. Our our people are gone. Our boats are gone too. Oh, probably because they were boats or people from one of these other places. Or maybe they just got attrition. Either way, we are back home. Raining and thin. So we might as well might as well get on the armies. Who that? 22 year old quick lady. Can I marry... Whoa! What is up with your face? That's, that, that's a thing. But I can't remember what it means. But I know that's a thing. <laughs> of course it's a thing. It's not just a graphical glitch. It looks like one. But it's not. Um, so yeah, why can't I marry the uh, the quick girl? What's what's up with that? Can I? No, she's in my court. Hmm. That's interesting. I can do it this way, but I can't do it the other way. That'd be five hundred prestige. Oh man, no, I'm just gonna wait until he's. I guess he has my oldest son, so he would take it regardless. Like, even if he has the lowest prestige, because these other ones... Mm, I don't know. I don't know, I'm so tempted to do it, but... 
You know what? Let's just do it. Let's get this kid married off to that quick girl. She's she's pretty good. She's quick. She's doesn't have terrible traits. She's content, which is gonna be nice. Here, congrats. Welcome to the family. Poor Arnulf. He's gonna lose so much prestige. Arnulf is learning how to use a sword better. Good. Good job, Arnulf. And we're pretty close to these guys getting there, but it's fine. Tormund of... So this guy took, took the thing from the other guy. Whatever, that's fine. As long as you're... Are you one of my guys? No. Foreign culture? What is that crap? There you go. You should be one of mine. And the boats are there. Good. So we, I guess we'll just split you in half. And we'll just move you down here. Just a quick little hop across. It'll save so much time moving through these damn mountains. Oh, I should keep an eye on... Yeah, okay, so we're good down here. I will want to enforce these demands on these people, because that will actually imprison them as well. But we can actually have this army deal with... With the... Who is that? The Boltons. So you go deal with the Boltons, and you stay here, and we'll deal with that army when they show up. We just have to take care of this town here because they're taking war scores slowly, slowly going up. So we'll probably end up waiting for this army to get the Dawn Forest and we'll attack them, clean them up, and then move on down. But uh, I am going to call the episode off here because it's about that time. So I do hope you guys enjoyed another episode of our Wildling campaign. We are slowly making some progress with cleaning these peoples up slowly but surely anyways yeah if you guys enjoyed you know what to do with them likes and them comments down below and i'll catch you next time take care